Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. We are going to start a new series on data visualization using Python. So guys, you know very well, there are a couple of libraries for data visualization using Python, such as matplotlib, seaborn, and plotly. Apart from these three libraries, we have a couple of library as well, but these three library is the backbone of Python data visualization. All right, so guys, in this series, we will be discuss these library in greater detail. And you know very well, data visualization is very essential part in data industry. So guys, now the next question is why data visualization is important. So guys, data visualization will provide lots of flavor. For an example, improved understanding, right? So data visualization helps to uncover patterns, trend and relationship in the data. So it is easier to identify key insight and make informed decision. So this help us make better decision based on the data. So guys, next point is communication. So data visualization is an effective way to communicate complex data to stakeholder who may not have the background of data analysis, or you can say that data understanding, or even non-technical stakeholders can quickly grasp the key insight and understand the significance of the data from intuitive visualization, okay? And the next point is, let's say, increase efficiency. So data visualization in Python make it is easier to analyze, interrupt large and complex data set with the ability of quickly explore and visualize data. Our data scientists and analysts can save time and focus their effort on more complex tasks. And the next point is, let's say, better decision making. So guys, again, data visualization is an essential tool in data analysis and interpretation process. It's allowing data scientists and analysts to gain a deeper understanding of the data and communicate insight effectively to the stakeholders, okay? And with the wide range of data visualization tool available in Python, it is easier than ever to create high quality visualization and gain valuable insight from the data, okay? And guys, now we will be discuss about the matplotlib library. So matplotlib is a plotting library for Python programming language, and it is used for 2D, 3D plotting with graphs, and it's provide an interface to create a wide range of static, animated, and interactive visualization in Python, okay? And this particular library allow to create a line plot, a scatter plot, column plot, histograms, pie charts, and guys, error bar plot, box plot, violin plot, bar plot, or donor plot. And apart from that, guys, you can draw lots of charts using the matplotlib library, okay? So these kind of chart we will be discussed in upcoming session, okay, in greater details, all right? And guys, apart from that, matplotlib can be used for varieties of data visualization and task, right? such as, let's say, plotting 2D and 3D graph, as I told you, line plots, scatter plot, bar plot, histograms, okay? And, you know, plotting images and arrays, like heat map, right? And I am show, and apart from that, visualizing statistical data, like error bar, box plot, violin plot, okay? And the next point, and customizing and annotating plots, all right? like guys adding a labels, how we can add legends, how we can show the text, how we can show the arrows, right? So these kind of information, we can take the help from customizing and annotating plots. And next point is creating charts and diagrams, right? So guys, with the help of matplotlib, we can easily create bar, pie chart, and donut chart, etc. And ne the next point is creating animations. Okay, so with the help of matplotlib, we can create a animation kind of chart, right? So like, let's say, you know, line plot, scatter plot, etc. And guys, the next point is saving and exporting plots or displaying them in GUI window. So guys, in summary, matplotlib provides a comprehensive and flexible library for creating a wide range of data visualization in Python. So guys, now I want to discuss with you matplotlib components. So matplotlib is composed of several components, right? So guys, let's say pyplot, okay? So this is the very useful, you know, components from the matplotlib. 
and this is the module that provides a high level interface for creating plots and charts it is the most commonly used interface in matplotlib okay and we will be use the alias name as plt the next point is let's say figure in axis so this is the another components from the matplotlib and a figure represent right entire plot while an axis represent a single plot within the figure okay and the next point is guys let's say artist so using this object we can make up a plot such as lines label and annotation and the next point is let's say backend so using this component that actually renders the plot to the screen or save it to a file so in case let's say if you want to show your chart on the web browser so backend component will help you and the next component is animation so that module provides tool for creating animation with matplotlib the next component is color map and styling all right guys so these components can be combined in a various way to create a wide range of plots and visualization all right so guys matplotlib is a comprehensive library for creating static animated and interactive visualization in python okay so overall in one line matplotlib is a powerful library for creating visualization in python it is very very easy manner and it is widely used in data analysis scientific computing and machine learning and guys again as i told you python will provides other libraries as well for the data visualization but guys matplotlib is the backbone library in data visualization okay so we will be discuss first of all matplotlib then we will be jump to the seaborn and plotly respectively all right so guys this is all about in this session and in upcoming session we will be discuss more about data visualization using python so meanwhile do the practice of this session as much as you can and try to explore more about the data visualization all right so guys thanks for watching and have a great day